Hi viewers, welcome to another episode of Grab Adventures. So, uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as I'm sure you guys have uh, guessed from the thumbnail, uh, this is actually about Deliveroo. So, uh, for the past one year, I have been uh, delivering food for GrabFood. And uh, there have been good days and there have been bad days as with anything in life, with everything in life. Uh, so I decided to actually uh, uh, create or have another backup account as well. Uh, so GrabFood actually gave me confidence in doing food delivery. And uh, after looking among the other two, which was uh, Food Panda and Deliveroo, I decided to go ahead and open an account with Deliveroo. So this video is going to be about my experience uh, and the processes uh, that I went through in order to open up the account uh, right from the moment I signed up all the way until I was able to log in into the Roo app to do my first delivery uh, order. As always, I will be providing uh, links to all the necessary uh, information that I'm uh, talking about in this video. Uh, down below in the description box. So do check it out later on. And as always, uh, do subscribe to my channel if you have not. So let's get on with the video. So, day one. It's uh, actually 2nd of November 2021. Uh, I went to Deliveroo's uh, rider application page and entered the relevant uh, information. Upon completion of the application, I received an email stating they are processing it and will notify me once a slot is available. Uh, basically, right, uh, what happened was that uh, I applied it back in November 2021 and uh, for the first couple of weeks, I was like checking my email and uh, seeing whether there was any uh, info from, uh, from Deliveroo. Lah. And then I also went into forums and uh, other uh, group chats to check to check with some senior rule riders and uh, the, a lot of them were say were giving me like uh, really uh, differing uh, 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 activation time uh. for some people it was like uh, like within a couple of days for some people it was like weeks for some people there was uh, months and uh, I even heard that there was a very legendary uh, story you know uh, that there was this guy who actually applied and uh, it's been more than one year and he's still waiting for his account to be activated. So uh, after hearing those stories, I just thought, okay, la, you know, just uh, when it gets activated, it gets activated. La, you know, I, and so in the meantime, right, I would just do grab. So I was happily doing grab. And then this year on 4th of February, 2022, which is like 94 days after I had submitted the application, look, I received an email from Deliveroo informing me of their acceptance with a request to upload my bank details as well as verify myself using my IC and uh, allowing the app to scan my face. Now, the bank update and the NRIC scan went without any problems. However, when I scanned my face, the app had problems capturing my face. I only found out the scan was unsuccessful upon submission when I received this email from them. I tried to rescan uh, but I kept getting an error message. So I just decided to wait for the next email. But uh, I was a bit like you know pissed off uh, you know because like I got the email but yet I'm not able to complete the necessary uh, next step. And then there was like no way to contact Deliveroo, you know, except through email. So just waited lah. But however, three hours later, right, I received an email from uh, Deliveroo stating my submission has been approved. However, as there are more riders available, they will contact me once they are ready to onboard me. So back to the waiting game. The next communication I received from Deliveroo was on 16 February 2022. 106 days after I had actually applied for Deliveroo account opening. I received the Deliveroo agreement to sign. Uh, signing is very easy. Uh, after reading through the document, you just need to acknowledge with your name and address. And then for the electronic uh, signature part, lah, you know, the e-signing is also very easy. 
So upon successful e-signing, I received an email immediately asking me to complete watching a series of uh, training videos. And once you watch the videos, uh, it said like uh, something like a uh, like uh, application has been uh, completed. 114 days after signing up for Deliveroo account. It was uh, 24th February 2022. I received a link to purchase the Deliveroo gears. Uh, but however, as uh, I had some uh, personal matters that I needed to attend to, I did not buy it immediately. As uh, I, like I mentioned, you know, I was busy with work and some uh, family matters as well. 117 days after applying for Deliveroo account. The date is 27th second, uh, 27th February 2022. I decided to buy the gear using the link. Uh, when I visited the uh, e-store for the first time, I was required to create an account. And uh, I placed an order for the cyclist bundle. So I made payment and uh, received uh, the acknowledgement. Uh, a few minutes later, after I actually bought the kit, right, uh, I received an email stating uh, that the application has been approved with uh, instructions on uh, activating my account in uh, two days time. 118 days after I applied for a Deliveroo account. The date was uh, 28 February 2022. I received the welcome email with a link to download the Rider app. Upon download, I was uh, actually able to log in immediately. You know, uh, so uh, there wasn't any uh, delay or anything. And uh, I also received another email stating my delivery gear purchase uh, has been shipped. So the shipping was uh, via JNT uh, Korea Express service. So uh, it took uh, exactly 120 days from the day I signed up to the day I was uh, ready to ride for delivery. So uh, basically, it took like uh, about four months for, for my case in order for me to activate the Deliveroo account. Uh, now, this experience, right, it actually varies wildly from person to person. So some person might actually have a shorter uh, time. Some people actually have a longer time. Uh, I'm, and because the, re the main reason I think why is because Deliveroo actually limits the number of uh, riders who can sign up, which I think uh, in hindsight is actually a, a, I don't know whether it's a good practice or, or not so good practice. Uh. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, that is my experience on uh, opening up a Deliveroo uh, account. So I will also be doing uh, future uh, videos on uh, my Deliveroo food delivery rides and stuff like that. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe and uh, uh, join me on my future adventures. Hit that subscribe button. You know, it's uh, totally free of charge. You don't need to pay anything. Yeah. So uh, ride safe and be safe. And I will see you in another episode soon.